Many patients have penicillin on their allergy list, and what we know is actually 90% of people who have it listed as an allergy are actually able to tolerate penicillin if we were to give it to them. Reasons for this would be because perhaps they have outgrown the penicillin allergy. We know that most patients would outgrow an antibiotic allergy within 10 years, or maybe the initial reaction was not a true allergy to penicillin itself. Many patients think, why is it important to get it off my list? Can I just avoid penicillin for the rest of my life? But we know that if you receive other medications besides penicillin, you might not be getting the best antibiotic to treat your infection, or the alternative antibiotics might have more side effects, higher cost, longer hospital stays, especially if you were to have an elective procedure, elective surgery. It's really easy to test how to get penicillin off your list if we're able, and it's important to do so. The testing is pretty easy. It's three steps. The first step is a little plastic device that scratches the skin. The second step is a small needle that goes under the skin, but it's pretty well tolerated. And then the last step is to actually give you a dose of a penicillin and have it be monitored here in our allergy office. If in fact we find out that you are allergic to penicillin, then we know that it should stay on your allergy list and it's on there for good reason. We'll give some guidance about continuing to avoid penicillin and what else you might need to be wary of and what other antibiotics to potentially avoid as well. If you're interested in investigating your antibiotic allergies further or interested in finding out whether you're truly allergic to penicillin, you can visit iowaclinic.com or call our office to get scheduled.